Hi everybody, it's Maureen, Crafty Sky Lady, coming at you from Massachusetts. It's evening and I'm in my back room, obviously, and I thought it's time to do a video. So I hope you all had a good couple of weeks since we last got together. And I'm going to tell you now, in case my camera goes out, that uh, I appreciate all of you. Uh, tell your friends, come on in. We have fun, don't we? I always ha have a good story to tell. I got my tea. Uh, peach. Peach. Perfect peach. With lemon. Oh, no, I didn't put my lemon in it. Honey. <laughs> and, you know, think about uh, subscribing if you haven't already. Share with me. I need to build those numbers. This is my year. I can do it. But I can't do it alone. I need your help. And let's do this. Other people are doing it. Oh my goodness. I follow all kinds of them that, you know, get a bazillion thousands, this and that, subscribers. And I'm at 29. Shh, don't tell anybody. But I gotta grow that number, right? <laughs> and that's with your help. So come on, help me out here. You know? And I'll try to do good content. That's my job. And I know some of mine aren't so wonderful, but getting there, folks. I'm learning. So anyway, I've uh, been busy, been a busy lady. Now, update, fair. I, I only put a couple things in the roundhouse this year for my stuff. And then I put four items in the youth hall for my granddaughter, 10-year-old Kennedy. And Kennedy got a ribbon on every single thing. And I think one of our big posters was markers. It was a girl power kind of a, kind of of herself, I guess she was trying to, you know, a girl, strong girl. And I loved it, you know, her hair and, you know, and she did it up in markers. And the girl looks like she's got like a Wonder Woman kind of uniform on or something. She won, I think she won best of show on that one. I'm not quite sure. But she got a ribbon, good ribbons on all of them. She was thrilled. She, And that's so good for her self-esteem, you know? Yeah. So anyway, I was happy about that. And then um, I, I, got a, I got a blue ribbon for, on, a, on a necklace that I entered. I didn't get any recognition on my trash to treasure crazy plant lady can that I just adore, but maybe they didn't get it, you know, trash to treasure. I don't know, but that's okay. Not everyone's going to get the stuff that you do, you know, and, and that's all right because I do have a little quirky taste on things sometimes, I think, but that's okay. That's what makes me unique and makes me me, right? So, um... That's that. That was fun. Uh, very busy on eBay, trying to really get good things on for the ho upcoming holidays and the fourth quarter they talk about. Um, really listing fast and furious. I have, um, for me, just starting in January and learning and and getting those listings on, um, I've, I'm have i just under 500 items. And that's a lot for me. And I, my goal is a 1,000, um, you know, in the next couple of months. And, and I'll get there. So, uh, and I got plenty of stuff. I mean, I, I have enough to, to do that. Uh, I went thrifting the other day and had so much fun. I found a little thrift store in South Deerfield, Massachusetts, which if anyone knows any uh, New England history, Franklin County, Deerfield is a very um, historical town anyway. The Deerfield Massacre of many years ago with the Indians and and you can walk through old Deerfield and there's tours. They'll give you tours of the old homes um, very much still as they were in the day um, you know, there was even at one time a museum with the, the axe and the door that was actually placed there by an Indian, uh, things like that. Real, real, um, historic. And there's a, there's a cemetery with real old, um, stones and, and things there for, um, a lot of really cool history there. 
and just you just get that whole vibe when you walk through there. You can walk. There's a restaurant there, uh, the Deerfield Inn, but I think it's called Chapneys or something like that. Or part of the inn is is maybe rented out, and it's a it's a restaurant. But the Deerfield Inn too is all nice, and um, yeah, there's a little gift shop. Um, different little things going on. So it's you know think think about. If you're in this neck of the woods, that's a fun uh, fall thing to do. And what they do, too, is um, one of their societies, I don't know if it's the farm people or whoever, some society that takes care of the property, it's one of their things that they do. They have a group of people who actually make <clears throat> wreaths and, and different things to adorn every front door of all these you know historical homes and they make them with dried herbs and flowers they're beautiful <clears throat> and um that's kind of fun right there because they really do them up to to um <clears throat> complement each house and the door and the colors <clears throat> and it's, it's fun to see even see them do that you know and it's also where they have craft shows I think there's one actually coming up they have the old deerfield craft shows which is a big event and high-end vendors making high-end artisan stuff there yeah yeah so anyway there's that um where was i going with the deerfield thing oh so i i found this uh thrift store in Deerfield that I like to go. It's small. It used to be a bank. Very small store, but they have good clothing. And and, and also their knickknacks, tchotchkes, are, aren't bad either. So I've done well there. Really well. And their prices are reasonable. Sometimes the clothes might be a little high, but I don't mind paying that extra dollar or two if you're getting a quality item that I know I can bring back and get my money back and a profit too yeah so i got some really good stuff i really did and i had fun and um one of my girlfriends excuse me wants to go with me um next week so we're gonna go and we're gonna go to lunch and kind of make a day of it and maybe stop stop at a local orchard we have a lot of orchards apple orchards around here and get some nice apples so i can make some pies i haven't made any apple pies this year and I have to say so myself. I make a good one, folks. Apple pie. I do. I've been told that, too, by people that I've given slices to. One guy who did some work for us, and he lives here in town. And he and his girlfriend there, uh, they have a picky palates, he says. And he raved about my pies, and so did she. And, um, yeah, I, I like to put little dabs of butter and a little pinch of clove in with my cinnamon and other stuff it's really good and i make my own pie dough i don't buy pie dough. you make your own with shortening flour and water and salt yeah so i got that all down pat at 70 years old i should right but i do and so i i'll be i want to make a couple and just I do use um, Truvia sugar for my pies because I'm diabetic and I think it it goes better with my diet and, and what I can handle digestively. So um, I do do that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to making some pies and I made a really good chowder last week. I had my other girlfriend over and she loved my cooking. <laughs> And she couldn't rave enough about that chowder. And it's the first time I made it. But I kind of know, you know, when you cook for so many years and cook for families, and I kind of know what to throw together, together to make this and that, what herb, what vegetable might go, you know. And I had some Pollock fish pieces given to me, about five of them in the freezer. So I took them out, thawed them out, left them whole, and I started out with onions, sliced onions and red pepper and a little and the fish and a little bit of water in the bottom of a of a pot, Dutch oven, and let that kind of poach. I let that and then I added more water, more milk. I already had some red 
uh, skinned potatoes already cooked, so I threw them in lastly. Um, I put a can of corn drained in there and the red pepper and all of those. I put thyme and a little tarragon and, um, I mean, a turmeric and uh, salt and pepper, butter. And then I didn't have any cream in the house. Uh, and I used a lot of milk, but I like to use evaporated canned milk, but I didn't have any of that either. So I looked in the fridge and I said, oh, I have some cream cheese. So I took half the block of cream cheese, threw that in at the end, and butter, and that made a good soup. It really did. That would have been good with some sourdough bread, but I didn't have any made, but we had... um. I did buy those little pretzel sliders. Oh my God, fresh. They're so good. Just little with butter and with soup. They were very good. That was a good meal. So I did that. So I have, I have fun cooking, and but I'm also crafting for this table slot I have up in Brattleboro, Vermont, where I've got to take my pictures soon and send them to the lady. And on October 1st, I can start a table there at 40 to $50 a month, 50, I believe, for a six foot table. And, and I have the table and I will be doing that. Um, I, I kind of like this. It's right off the highway. It gets a lot of traffic and I'm excited about this. So let me, um, kind of what I thought we would do. I want to show you some things. Uh, I got to finish this up now. This is okay. Now, Deidre, the lady I'm following, um, our upcycled life in Canada for the reverse graphics and other trash to treasure kind of things that she does. I, I like what she does and I'm trying to uh, learn a lot from, from her. And um, she talks a lot about this shape. Um, boards are some of her best sellers, right? So I had the smaller one. Um, that I had bought somewhere with something on it over there. And I said to my husband, take this if you would. And if you've got a skill saw, which he does, and I didn't realize he did. And it's good for him too. He'll be 89 October 5th. And I believe um, these little jobs I'm giving him, and I don't rush him. I don't put pressure. I said, when you're ready and when you, you know, if you could cut me a couple and you know, his hands shake a little, but he gets out there and he does a few. And when he's tired, he comes in. But I think I'm keeping his mind and body sharp. I really do by these little things we do together. And and so I've got to also make a sign for that table for, and a new name. And I'm thinking, I was thinking, okay, what can I call this? Because I'm Crafty Sky Lady on this. I'm Blink Sky Mosaics on Etsy. Um, Reen's Unique Things on eBay. Um, you know, I've got all this and that going. I used to do mittens, and I was a mitt happens, 13. I mean, all these different, you know. But I wanted to think of, because this is more trash to treasure type stuff that I want to make sure the uh, people, when they come to look at my stuff and hopefully buy something, that I want them to know that, you know, it's really the emphasis is on trash to treasure and recycling, repurposing, and keeping things out of the landfills, right? Plus, you know, showcasing some unique style and crafts and this and that. Okay, so I'm thinking last name being Sky. Um, I think I'm gonna call it Sky. Yeah, sky highs, trash, high skies or sky high trash to treasure. You know, Ed and Maureen Skye's, you know, unique things. Something like, yeah, Sky High Trash to Treasure. And so I've got to do that on um, a sign. So that's something I've got to do too. But anyway, with that, he did a few for me. So I have some uh, graphics that I have to rub off. And I thought maybe we'll sit and do a little more of that. But I also wanted to show you what I did with one. Now this board, you're seeing the back side and here's the front. And because this had this kind of knotty 
looked like a flaw in it, but it's the wood. I thought, I got to do something with that. So I have the graphics, but I thought, I need more. And I like to paint. So I thought, it needs a sunflower right there. So what? there's a door, and then there's the sunflower. And what it says is, and there's a rocking chair and a flower. These are the reverse graphics. This I hand painted with acrylic coming down. And I, I really like it. And so these are, won't be for food. They're not food safe. And I will have to note that on the back. But what it says is, ever so often, go where you can hear a wooden screen door slam shut. And I love that. I think it's farmhousey, even though they say the farmhouse style is kind of going out. So it's not total farmhouse but it, it's just that you know look would look nice sit, and I'm gonna put the jute to finish it off with a knot and a little piece of jute so they can hang it but I just love it yeah and these this is from the laser jet it does do a lot better than the inkjet and I'm learning how to rub better so I'm not ripping them as well and this came out pretty good and I like doing it in that um, more italic font on this for this saying so I, I really like it I like how it came out so anyway that that's one of them and I won't paint all of them some I'll leave but you know you kind of get a feel for what you want to do and what what I find a lot of my crafts they speak to me this needed something um, I didn't like the way it was with just the graph. It needed something. So that's that's what I got. So and I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make two of these. But the next one, the sunflower, I'm going to try to do more of a burnt orange um, leaves on it, petals. So we'll see. So right now I just have to take some. So you'll just work with me while we talk and um, update you on some other things. I just want to take a piece of jute here, and I got my scissors. <clears throat> I feel so bad. I sent out two sympathy cards this week. I was really in shock to learn of a couple people passed away. It always shocks me, but never a pleasant thing, right? But one of them was my tax man's son. And my tax man is younger than I am. He's only in his later 50s, I believe. So his son was only 30. And he, his old bit was in the paper. I don't know how he died, but it just saddens my heart because that's his only child. And I know that he he talked of his son often when he would come. And he was very proud of his son and hardworking kid and nice kid, good-looking kid. And you wonder, you know, it seems like there's a lot more young men passing away. I'll be eager to learn what the cause was, if it was his heart, because that's what took my... My niece's husband a year ago, it was his heart. And he was the picture of health, this guy. Handsome, hardworking, overall great guy, great dad, great husband, great worker, great friend, family member. I mean, just would do anything you asked of him. And just, you know, never asked for much. He's just a hardworking guy. Got a lot done around their home. They had renovated their home beautifully. Uh, he was um, a construction uh, for a, a company. He was like one of the head foremen. And he, he just muscles. I mean, good looking dude. And you just wonder what in God's name. It, it was his heart. Um, enlarged heart or some virus, something. Sad. So sad. So, so sad. We miss him dearly. We, 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 uh, everybody really misses him, and especially his family, his wife, my niece, and his daughters. My goodness. And his mother and father, they, they had two kids, so they have his sister, but, um, he was the oldest. God. Sad. 
Yeah. All right, folks. I don't do this part well for some reason. The hole, the hole's big enough. it in there. There we go. I can get some of that. Yeah, and then the other one was a neighbor, I mean, but she was in her 80s. At least, you know, she did live her, her life, and her husband had passed, oh, I want to say like a year ago, and they were always together. And uh, they had several children. Um, they lived over, they were our neighbors, and sh they actually uh, watched my kids after school and stuff when they were growing up, because she, she did that. That's what, she was a stay-at-home uh, caretaker, worker that way. So, child, children. See, won't that look nice? I'll just leave it about like that. So, yeah, so... Uh, you know, you hate to hear of anybody, but boy, that was, uh, my tax man's son was a real shock. And my tax man himself has been through a lot of, he's the physical, uh, health issues. He's got a bad heart and, um, he'd been in a car accident years ago and hurt his hip or he's had many surgeries and just, just a lot going on with his health. Oh, but the last thing you would expect to hear was that his son passed away. I'm so sad. Okay, there's that, guys. That ain't going anywhere. I'll cut that. There she is. I kind of like her. All right. What do you think? Yeah. And like I said, I, oh, I got a stand. I'm just going to put a little note on the back, and I'll tape it, that says, um, uh, not for food, not food safe. You know, I mean, you could always put a towel down and put a bread on it, but you'd have to make sure you put it on, you know, a towel or another tray or something. If not, these are painted with acrylic and, and different paint. They're not food safe. They're more decorative purposes only. I spilled just a little bit of paint or something. The sealer, that's what that is. I'll have to be careful of that. It's coming. Just show you a couple of the other things I've been doing. And again, still learning about the graphics, um, you know, and rubbing, and you know, so some things I've had to do over because I just didn't like them, or um, you know, you're learning. Now this, I got to figure out what to do around the rim of it. But I was able to salvage this. This I didn't think I was going to because um, it's wooden. Dishes are looking at me dirty again. Now, this was one of her graphics. And the words at me had ripped on me. And I thought, oh, I got to trash the whole thing. But then I did more of the reverse graphics, <clears throat> cut it out, put it on the other night, and took my time with it, fixed up, and I was able to salvage it. I don't think it's too bad. Now, another thing I also found 
that you can do, at least it works for me, is if I do tear a letter or a little section, I tried using black paint and it's too obvious. But if you take a number two pencil and, you know, just kind of go in somewhere where you need it, this works and you can kind of do it and you can't even tell. Yeah, you can't even tell. I just fixed the Y on dirty and you really can't tell. See? So that's, and then you put your sealer over it. It's not going to go anywhere. So that's good to know. So anyway, I think I want to like sponge or something, a color. But people today, the decor is white. I'm kind of, is that getting old for you too, people? Like when I'm watching <laughs> the country living home tour, they're beautiful. And I do like a lot of it. The white, the farmhouse white and the shiplap. And, and like some of them are, like I watched one the other day. It was last year, so it wasn't this fall. But the beautiful oranges, I love the colors of fall. And in that home de decor with the white and the cream. and But it's, it's white, cream, black, a green plant here and there. And then it's all, you know, the orange fall color. You know, a lot of, one lady really went overboard up her stairs, a leafy girl. It, to me, it was overkill. And everywhere you look, she had a gourd or a pumpkin. or It was overkill. In my estimation, overkill. I like a thumb, but not every nook and cranny. You know, yes, we know it's fall in her house. My God. I'm just being catty, but that's my take on it overkill people but anyway getting back to what to put it needs something but I don't know what to do here now I could decoupage like some napkin or something on the head of print I could paint but I don't really want my things to be all about painting either like I did the sunflower on that because I know it and I like that. But I, I, my, the others I do, I don't want to paint them. I just want graphics and, you know, a little something, something. But, and then I did one already somewhere here that, and it, oh, here we go. And I don't know if I like this. And I was just experimenting. <laughs> I just kept putting layers of stuff on because I thought, oh, it needs something else. And this this one I'll keep, I guess, because the um, graphics didn't come out all that well for me. But I plan to do more where I know what I did wrong. But anyway, this is the sourdough starter thing. But I just kept putting layers and layers of colors. But that's not really what I wanted, where I want to go with it either. So, um... I'll keep it for me, though. But anyway, as for me, I just want to live long enough that my grandkids know, appreciate, and respect my sourdough starter. That's mine. My but if I can do, and I like the loaf of bread, but if I can do more of these, and I was thinking, you know, on something like this, you could even do a little hooky and have a nice dish towel hanging or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's that. Um, but the, again, that's not quite where I wanted to go with that. So, uh, let me show you a couple other things. Just a can. Yep. And these are full flowers. It says crafty. 
crazy. I'm sorry, crazy plant lady. And if you know someone who is all of that, she would just adore something like this. The other can I did, I had the ball feet on it, which is nice too. You can either or, and I did some spools, you know, the big balls. These are smaller, but the big balls that I painted them black, and I had four. And I did that, and you can glue them on, and they make a nice, just to give it a little more style. But this, and look at the beautiful colors. I mean, this is really pretty, folks. And I got nice. And I did fabric over the, the edge in complementary colors. And just glued a little daisy right there. And there's some daisies in the mix. And I just love this. And I, did, I put newspaper and then styrofoam, and then stuck the flowers in. And then I put some raffia tucked in there to hide that so you don't see it if you're looking inside there. But I just love the berries and the colors. And again, this is nice for fall without going overkill with the oranges and the, yeah. Yeah. And this is also um, not the cinnamon stained look, which I like that too, but this is um, my paper. I um, I did the graphics first on white regular paper, uh, <clears throat> Xerox paper. And then, then I did the coffee stain with instant coffee and a little hot water. And you do your mix and then you just put it on there and let it dry, sponge it on and kind of let it dry and then you rip the edges and then you mod podge on the can and the can has <clears throat> a black coat of <clears throat> a starter coat like a sealer coat but it was black and then black another coat of black acrylic that's how I, I did this yeah I love it so that's that that will go up on, on my sales so that and that Oh, and then here's another little thing. Again, keeping... I ent I was going to enter this in the fair. That's what this ticket is. But I didn't get to because I had something else already used in that category. So I couldn't add something else. So that's why that tag was on that. If I can show this, I just adore. And being a sewer, I I would have used something like this in a heartbeat years ago. I need on my pins, and you know, oh, sure enough, I can't get it off of there. Well, anyway, just ignore that because I can't get it off. Anyway, you'll see that that doesn't go there. little pin cushion and a flower shape just all hand done quickly for your pins a little like a chicken or tuna fish can and it says pins and needles buttons and bows and i did the graphic it's got buttons on it these are wired spools i just think it, and it's what a great little thing for your Somebody who doesn't sell much but wants a place to put their buttons and bows. They've got a small apartment or just buy your sewing machine. Or you could even make your own pin cushion with just fabric and, um, you know, puff it up and glue it all in there with cotton and fiber fill under there and then have a pin cushion. You could, you could change it up. But I love it. Like black paint. This has got a little bit of that. Um, cinnamon a little bit going on but how cute is that yeah so that's going again trash to treasure keeping it out of the landfill right right down there then and this is my own thought and again I realize I still gotta work on those rubbing those graphics better and this and that so 
you know, just bear with me, but I still think it's adorable and I will try selling it because it's unique, very unique. And this is all my doing. It hangs on the wall. The spoon was like that. I got it from the dollar store for a dollar. And I, I wanted to add something to this. Now, this is another one of those sourdough starter graphics. And this is a barrel um, sap bucket save uh, sides. And I didn't do this side. I, I did the outer side. And the beads and uh, complimentary, you know, very rustic looking piece uh, bow and everything. And milk paint, the, the white chalk paint. And it says, as for me, I just want to live long enough that my grandkids know, appreciate, and respect my sourdough starter. And it's a loaf of bread. Now, this, this came out well in regard to um, the letters showing better. But I still wanted to do better with the edge of it so it doesn't look like I cut paper and just did decoupage. I want it to look more like the graphics. And so um, it's touchy. It's a touchy process. You've got to work it. And I'm getting there. Like this word, sourdough, this part's stronger than this part, see? And some of the other words. But again, it looked, that's why I kept it rustic and roughed it up a little more to keep it rustic. And this hangs funny right now. But I think if once it's against a wall... It'll, you know, or you could even put a little um, double-sided tape or something just to make sure it does a painter's tape or just stick to the wall good. But isn't that a door? I mean, how rustic is that? I can see that in somebody's kitchen or like a cabin or, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, what I thought, too, and I'll make a little note to the customers, they could even take a permanent marker or some paint or stencils, and they can even put the name of their sourdough starter. Some people name theirs. Mine's name is Sky, obviously. But uh, a couple of people on that I follow, one's um, Otis, her, and I don't know what Jessica's is. But anyway, some people name their sourdough starter, so you could always do that, too, right here. So just, just to give a thought of that. So... Different and unique. I want my stuff. I don't want to see myself like when you go in the dollar store. I don't. I don't want my decor or other. I want my stuff to be different, and it doesn't have to be perfect either. It just has to show that you can repurpose things, and you know, I'm not looking for total perfection, but I, I want quality, uniqueness. Yeah, yeah. If I may, <laughs> I'm making any sense. So anyway, those are some of the things. There's more, but I'm showing. I, I realize I do these videos, and I don't always show what my end result looks like, you know, or the camera goes out on me or something. So anyway, I gotta think about something. Maybe if if you're following and you have any ideas, chime in and throw them out there because I'm I'm open to ideas. And uh, I have my water, warm water, and we're gonna sit and poke away at this one which is mimic of the other one with the sunflower i just haven't painted anything on it as yet we've got to get the graphics going first yeah i have my o-ring i'll have my my chi so we had our barn open for a couple of days this weekend did nothing today not one customer and, oh, and we put a big sign out front and everything. We've got shelves. I mean, we got cute stuff. You know, nice stuff. But just, I don't know, people are only looking probably for eBay items like me. Certain specific things. They walk around. Some people say, oh, you got really nice stuff in here. Thank you. But nobody, they're not, not buying it. <laughs> Yesterday, we made about $30. And we've got quite a bit of stuff in there. Nice stuff. Repurposed things. Things I've done, things I've picked up that I know are quality collectibles. I've got a couple of things. I have an Anna Lee doll in there. I've got a teddy bear that's a collectible. I've got, my husband did sell um, some lanterns, um, old vintage lanterns. That's what sold yesterday. Um, you know, lamps, uh, dishes, 
um, uh, old, I had some old linens, books, ephemera, old ephemera, Elvis stuff, um, some old, um, VCR tapes, uh, CDs, books, uh, Watt pottery, a ton of beautiful pieces of Watt pottery. Um, signs, some signs I did last winter, you know, pantry, bakery. Those I did hand painted. They're not graphics. They're, they're not on white. They're beautiful. Patisserie. I've got one that says patisserie. Um, ju some jewelry. I'm, I'm, uh, copper. I've got copper craft guild bowls out there, pewter. I've got nice stuff on the shelves and my prices are not high either. Our prices are very low, which is about giving it away. And, you know, we haven't had a good day in a long time. I think Facebook marketplace has kind of killed any tag sales. Tag sales and barn sales, they're not what they used to be. No. That tastes so good. I'm enjoying my hot tea again with the weather changing. That's one good thing, right? All right, let's uh, take our little rag. That's not the little piece of rag that I use, so. I a little piece of rag. I got everything here, and I just try to stay somewhat organized here. Is that it? No. Well, I can just use a little edge of this, I guess. It won't hurt nothing. I've got a rag, but it's a bigger rag. But I'm just going to dip it in my water and squeeze it a little. That's warm water. And I'm going to turn this down. If I lose you, thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging with me. Tell your friends. Let's get some more subscribers going. I love you, and I appreciate you all. And... Until we meet again, may the universe provide. I'm just doing it now, just in case my phone does go out on me, because it does do that. My camera. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Let's see what I'm doing. Let's start in the middle. Okay. The other night, this, was it this finger or this one? Oh my God, it was so raw. I thought it was going to bleed on me and hurt, you know, because I was roughing with that one or this one, one of them, probably this one. Yeah. So you got to be careful of that too. You can get them a bit callous at times. But like like Deidre did say that you do get a feel for it. You get, see, now you get that. There it goes. You get that first layer off, okay? You got to be careful, though. And then you, then you go back and there's a second layer. And that's the one that you really need your fingers to feel. Because, um, yeah, and, and that's where, you know, you can rip it, too. I can dip it in the water a little bit. See how that's exposing? That's that first layer. Okay.
There we go. See, you can see the that first layer, and you can nicely start to see the good dark leathers show through. Okay. But then you still got to be very careful because, um, you know. This on last night about this time, so it's been 24 hours. Yeah, you're supposed to wait 24 hours. Yeah. I don't know if there's, I gotta find out this, if there's a dollar amount limit to how many items I can, you know, put in. I'm sure there probably is because I'm sure they don't want one vendor, you know, taken away from the other vendors. I think it's gotta be fair. I'll find that out, you know, like, like if I've got so many items and what I, what they all, amount to as far as what I'm charging. Um, I gotta find out about that. I'm sure there is some kind of standard. Yeah. First layer, see that's what you're getting off. But the tricky part is getting that second layer too. Yeah. See that E doesn't want to come as nice as the other letters.
Okay, now see like this word, for instance. You gotta be careful, you know. I dip, I dip my finger back in the water, but I also find that too much water, I, it will soften it too much and then you're tearing. So, but this one's working. I can feel the that second layer. You can feel it. So the, you gotta get a feel for that. But boy, you know, you really don't want to ruin the word, too. You know? Yeah. Now see this to me really isn't happening. Yeah. Not really. I'm lifting up. I 
Here we go, that's it. Okay. No, folks, this one's <laughs> giving me a little bit of a, I don't know, I want the letters to come out better than, they're too um, faded still, and yet I'm having a scrub like that here, and I don't want to rip that. paper Rip it. See, that is not on there good. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's keep working it.
Take a little time and patience. You gotta be patient. And it's not like I said, it doesn't come out perfect. It doesn't. Um, and you know, there is a little bit of fixing here and there I gotta do. And I know it. I'm trying to get those graphics to look better than gray and white. He's going to rip, so I'll leave that. try to get the graphics to rip off so it doesn't look so straight edged like a cloud, like a decoupage. You want it to look more and blend in more like a yeah. There we go. Even if I have to
paper away. See? Too much paper and I think it looks too much like a I am wetting the edge a little more so I can hopefully pull it off. Uh, I think it just looks too much like a decoupage and I don't want that. Yeah. Oh, that E came off. Darn it. Let's fix that, see? There's one problem or the other. I'm trying to get the edge of that paper off. I don't like it too square. And so, with that, um, I'm going to take your time. There we go, the paper's kind of coming off. Yeah. Alright, now let's see if I can get back over here. I ripped the E. Um, I know I've already got to fix that. Yeah, but maybe I can just get around that. At least that's, I don't want it square, like, where it's gonna, and I realize I'm taking some of the paint off, but I can always fix that up. I just don't want it to look quite so stuck on there like a square. You want it to look more, where the words look a little more natural on there. Man, see, I ripped it. Leave it alone. Mm
the screen, the word screen, okay. too hard. That's what happens. So I'll just leave some of that. I'm going to have to fix it with the pencil. Now that's ripping. I gotta fix that too. I'm probably rubbing a little too hard. A little impatient, I guess. I gotta, gotta be very patient, she says, with the, which I find you do. Yeah. So if you're a very impatient one, you might, this would be good for you to learn patience. Or if you just can't get there, this might not be the craft for you. I don't know. It's just, I like to, I'm too eager to see the end result sometimes too. <laughs> yeah. But luckily I did find a way where, like I said, you can take the pencil and you can fix a bit. Now I should just leave this. Let it all dry and come back to it because that's, uh, I'm just going to do nothing but make a mess. All right. This is a flower. Flower glasses.
This is a walking chair. What you want to do, though, is get it so that you're really getting all those, so it doesn't look like the round. It just fades into the wood, see? That's what you want, and it's hard to do sometimes. I actually like the way it looks pulling away some of the paint though, so that's kind of cool. There we go, you can see that, see that? Yeah. But the problem is, I get it too wet, I end up ripping it. And yet I gotta get it somewhat wet, oh there we go. So that I can get some of this stuff off. There we go. I'm just trying to break that, the shape of the, um, yeah, okay, the shape of it, yeah.
There we go. That's better. All right. So leave that. Leave that. Um, Just trying to get the hem, uh, hem, the uh, edge of the paper so it doesn't look so straight. I like the day clothes, like I keep saying, I don't want that. I want it off of there. Ah, okay. That's probably where I'm getting the callus, sure. Oh, it hurts, too. Yeah, I've been using a lot of hand cream since I started doing this, boy. Because I've never had... I'm not bragging, but... Uh, my mother had beautiful hands, to Her cream, always young-looking hands. And even through her aging years, she she just, and I take after her in that regard. My hands have never been old looking, but, um, so I, you know, I take a little pride in that. So I make sure I keep them moist, but I notice in doing this, mm -hmm, I have been using salve and, um, you know, hand cream and stuff, so. Just saying how you've got to use a lot of that. I'm just trying to my best to get the paper away so it doesn't look so like I keep saying dick washy. Don't want it to look dick washy. Like I said, I've let that dry. Yep, I did it. Got the S off of there. Damn. Excuse my French. I can fix this now. Phew. Alright, so I got some fixing to do on this one. So I'm pretty sure I can do that. So, we'll let that dry. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry really good. Then I'll have to come back in and fix a couple things. I'll fix that other one. Let this just dry because, yeah, more is going to rip if I don't. Yeah. All right. We'll let that dry. And 
even this is not good. I just don't like that. It's the right word. Get that away from there. Yeah. Yeah, that's really not good. I might have to do that one over. I think I will. Look at that. See, it didn't even stick. This is what I'm saying. It's not really <clears throat> going into the wood, per se. And maybe I didn't get enough Mod Podge on that piece. But I can do another one right there. So we'll just do that and wait. So anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, maybe I'll do some painting over here and take it from there. you get the gist. I'm going to paint away. I am fearful that my camera will run out eventually. <laughs> anyway, this has been fun. Just another week coming at you. I'll be back in four or five, six, seven days giving me a little time to think about some more things and stuff. But I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. I hope I inspired you a little bit to get crafting. Try different things. Doesn't hurt to, and even if they don't come out perfect, they don't have to. You can fix things and have fun with it. There's so many ideas with this one. There really is. And as you can see, it's work. It's a little bit of work, but it, like she said, she she puts music on, and normally I would too, but I'm doing a video, but music, or I'll watch YouTube or something, and just you know. And it, it can be relaxing, too. Don't stress out over it. I certainly don't. And things, if you don't like it and you've made a mess of the whole thing, sand it off and start over. That's the good thing about all this. You know, and we haven't really wasted much. You know, a piece of paper and a little bit of ink on your laser jet. But she, Deidre said, um, mine's new. She said her, her cartridge has lasted her forever. She can't remember when she last had to put an, another cartridge in, so that's good. I'll take that. So I hope to be doing a lot of things before I have to think about <laughs> replacing that, right? Whereas the inkjet, I'm replacing it every three to four weeks with all the stuff I've been doing, so that's not good, and that, that can get pricey. So anyway, I'm going to say good night. It's been great. I love y'all. Thank you now. And until we meet again, I certainly hope the universe provides. I really do. Stay safe out there. See you next time. Bye-bye.